after competing on road courses for the past two events. The ASA Speed Truck Challenge presented by TVT 24-7 returns to the short tracks, beginning with the half mile at Irwindale, California. With some of the youngest drivers ever to participate in a touring series, experience will be crucial in pacing the high banks. The ASA Speed Truck Challenge, they build champions. 21 trucks, 50 laps, and no time to think. Welcome to LA's Half Mile Super Speedway for the ASA Speed Truck Challenge presented by TVT 24-7. Hi everybody, I'm Doc Riley along with Ted Jones working in the pits, Mr. Steve Guccione. I'm here in one of the most prestigious areas of a racetrack, Victory Lane. This is where every driver wants to be at the end of the evening. I know, I was here two years ago. It's an unbelievable feeling. Tonight, one lucky winner will visit this spot. One of the things that makes the ASA Speed Truck Challenge such a great series is the wide variety of tracks we race on. We race on short tracks, we race on tracks half mile in length, we race on road courses. Today we're here at Irwindale Speedway. It's the fastest track we race on. It's uh, billed as LA's half mile super speedway. I'm here with uh, Kevin O'Brien, marketing and promotions. Uh, Kevin, tell us a little bit about the speedway and what makes this track so special and popular to the drivers. I think what makes it so special is that it features a variable groove track. And uh, what that means is that we're able to have multiple groove racing here at the Speedway. It's very common to be able to see cars going two, three, and God forbid, four wide going through the corners. But the one thing, the other unique design about this track is that there's probably more time spent in the corners than on the straightaway. And that's what really makes it a racy track for the competitors. And I think uh, that's probably one of the reasons why they like coming here so often is because of the fact that uh, you have those ingredients that make for some really exciting racing. Down here at Turn 1 at Irwindale Speedway, at the end of the front straight, this is the fastest part of the racetrack. The speed trucks are going to reach speeds of about 115 miles an hour at this point. The faster trucks won't even be on their brakes till about now. I'll tell you what and I've experienced firsthand. It's hairy, it's fast, and it's out of control. That's what makes the racing so exciting here at Irwindale Speedway. I'm trying to get the hang of this track a lot bigger than what we're used to, but uh, having a lot of fun out there. This is the first time I've driven here. I mean, I've been here as a crew chief and a crew guy for years, but uh, first time I've driven here, and the, the wall is very menacing. First oval, uh, first night race, actually. So it's gonna be, I'm excited. I, uh, I broke in the truck today. I, hit the wall a little bit, so we're, uh, we're ready. Part of keeping the playing field level in the Speed Truck Challenge is technical inspection. Right now we're at pre-qualifying tech where the trucks are weighed. They're weighed for a minimum weight, 2,650 pounds. The cross weight, or left side weight, the cars are only allowed to have 56% of their weight on the left side, and ground clearance, which is uh, three and a half inches. After they roll through pre-qualifying tech here, the trucks cannot be touched till after qualifying. After qualifying before the race, they'll go through a more rigorous tech inspection, which will take place later on this evening before the main event. One of the great things about the ASA Speed Truck Challenge is the parity in this series. And one of those things that makes a parity so equal is a new ignition by Mallory that was implemented at the beginning of this season. Here with me from Mallory is Sean, who can explain why the drivers and the crews and the speed truck officials are so excited about this new ignition. Well, the thing is, is we brought a, uh, a system that we've tested and to the series to level the playing field and make it to where ev nobody has an uh, unfair advantage. And now, with everybody having the same systems and the same trucks with the same motors, it turns into a driver series, which is what we want to all see. And this system is something that we've worked on for many years with our drag racing program. So we came out with limiters that were easier on motors and didn't hurt them. And a lot of different things with the trackside support, which was something that people weren't used to. So now that they have the support of someone always at a racetrack, with Marco Blush or myself, we, we get so much feedback from the teams on things that they like or something they want changed. And being able to do it firsthand makes it really good for us as well as them. Here at Irwindale Speedway, qualifying's done different than the other track. 
Instead of going out solo and only getting two laps to get a fast one in, here at Irwindale Speedway, the trucks go out in groups of six and get seven minutes to lay down a fast time. In that seven minutes, that fastest lap is what's going to determine their qualifying position. So it gives you a little more time as a driver to relax and only trying to jam it all into two laps. Earlier in the afternoon, Andy Allen put his truck on the pole, qualifying the fastest. But with the roll of the dice and the inversion, it put rookie Paul Bonikorski on the pole this evening. All right, Andy, you rolled a five. That's going to invert the first five trucks in the field. Starting for the fifth spot now, uh, what do you think your chances are tonight? Uh, first lap, I'll be in first place. Motor Mania is brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts, home of the professional parts people. By Mallory Ignition, the ultimate performance systems. And by TVT 24-7, a major breakthrough in lubrication technology to save your engine and the environment. Welcome back to round number nine of 13 on the ASA Speed Truck Challenge presented by TVT 24-7. I'm Doc Riley along with Ted Jones. Qualifying's done. The field starts to group up as we get set for our starting grid. Well, first of all, in row number one, the guy that qualified number five but won the lucky dice row, Paul Bonacorski, and on the outside, Jason Black. Victor Fluger is with the number 80 ride, Darren Young in the number 18 truck. Then in row three, it'll be Andy Allen and Austin Murphy. Row four, former Rookie of the Year, Randall King in the 35, and Jim Putnam in the 12. Row five, Bear Resnowicki, the youngest driver on the series at age 14, and Jeff Catlin. Todd McLaughlin in the number 38, Tacoma, and Colin Dixon in number 67. Moving on to row seven, Dallas Kolodny and James Griffith. Row number eight, Bobby McGowan in the number five, Tim Allen in the 77. Then Brandon Arsino and Mike Kay. Row 10, Kenny Smith, the number 43 ride, Ray Hoffman in number 33. Rounding it out in row 11, Sean Steele and Angelo Gulotti. Full tube chassis rides, 2,650 pounds. These guys are ready to rock and roll and at the start. We're on board the TVT 24-7, courtesy of the number 22 ride of Andy Allen. Green flag is out, boy, looking to go wide across the multi cruise here at Irwindale. Well, you're on board right now with Murphy, and you know, they said sometimes they go four wide, especially in the turns, because this is a multi-groove track. Patience will be key here as they start to form back up. Racing continues on board now with the number 18 ride of Darren Young. He's a two-time series champion. He's a very patient driver and very technical savvy. And a reminder, of course, you're looking out back at that spoiler right there. Here's the top five leaders at the end of one lap. Darren Young, the two-time series champion at age 43, paces the field, but a good battle going on for fourth place. Indeed, involving Andy Allen right now as we jump on board with him. Again, you can see he's trying to make a move right now to get around the number 11 of Paul Bonacarsi. Fighting very, very quickly out front. Darren Young continues to pace the field. We will find all kinds of great battles here. We see the multi-groove starting to come into place. Austin Murphy starts to move up through the pack of the 07 ride. And Paul Bonacarsi still in fourth place, but trying to get around Murphy at the end of three laps. On board now with Victor Fluger, the Parker Farms Cooper State Dodge truck. And he, up oh, a little bit of a wiggle right there. There is no tapping, bumping, and bagging in this type of racing. They've got to race cleanly. Good battle for third right now. Every once in a while, they do tap accidentally, though. Take a look right now. Allen making a move, diving down on the inside. Let's see if he can take over second place. Good bit of driving as the field continues to sort itself out, looking at the rear of the field on the number 44 of Dallas Kolodny. Kalani right about in the middle groove right now. He's trying to protect some ground. Lots of guys back behind him as he drops down into the inside groove. Well, they said this is a multi-groove track, and indeed it is. I see about three different grooves right there, Doc. A little bumping and banging. They don't allow for rough driving here, but, you know, Rubbin is racing, Ted. Well, they're drafting because they get up to about 115 miles per hour, and you'll see them slingshot as they come off of those turns right there in an effort to pass each other. A reminder, these trucks are very equal. This is a driver's race. The motors are sealed. They're running two-speed direct drive transmissions with TVT 24-7 gear lube on board. Good battle for seventh place here. Jim Putman in the Performance Racing Dakota. He's trying to hold position, but there's an awful lot of guys going high and low to make passes. Yeah, remember, you can slingshot either high or low at this track. Remember, if you go high, it's a longer distance around, so you have to get a really good shot in order to do it. Good battle right now taking place for seventh position. 
Well, that was Jim Putman battling Randall King, but look at this battle for fifth right here. As they flash underneath the start finish line, it's number 80, Victor Fluger and Paul Bonacorsi. They're battling for that fifth ride, and this is tough. Boy, our leader, Darren Young, continues to pace the field of the United Nissan Sudden Impact Chevrolet S10. He is 43 years old, two-time series champion. He is a very, very talented driver. He's along for the ride. On board right now, the number 12, that's Jim Putnam. Look at Reznowicki in the number three car, making a move to the inside, a good pass. Now let's take a look at the battle for fourth. Austin Murphy, the S10 against the F10 of Paul Bonacorsi. Boy, are they having a fight for fourth place. There you can see them side by side. What a drag race into the corners. They go number 11 and number seven, rubbing door handles. Back to that battle for eighth place. Jim Putnam in the Dakota has his hands full. He's battling Randall King for eighth. Andy Allen of the Colorado follows number nine, Jason Black. That's a big battle there for second place. Meanwhile, all alone is Darren Young. Boy, he has several truck links out on the competition dock. Andy Allen continues to battle Jason Black for that runner-up spot right now. Both guys using all the track that they possibly can. A good look at the top five, and that young rookie, Austin Murphy, hanging tough at number four. Well, nobody seems to be able to catch up right now with Darren Young, who has a commanding lead. Let's take a look at that battle once again for second place side by side. Look at them all bunched up, second all the way through the back of the pack. An awful lot of laps to go, and again, these full tube chassis rides. No pit stops here. They're running up. Torco Racefield, 110 octane, and a good battle right now for number nine position. You're on board with Jim Putnam, the Dodge Dakota in eighth place, and number 22, Andy Allen with the Chevy Colorado is battling number nine, Jason Black for second. Now the battle for fifth. Victor Fluger holds that position right now, battling very tough. They're bumping a little bit. That's Bear Reznowicki up there in the 22 ride. It's Andy Allen up against the number nine of Jason Black, who continues to run hard. Jason Black, his own race team right there as his sponsor, that Chevrolet S10. Andy Allen dives down inside and passes. He gets in second place. Now look, trying to come back inside once again is Jason Black. Jeff Catlin in the lone Toyota in the field, follows Jim Putnam there, a battle for eighth. Right on his rear tailgate, they continue to move. Boy, these guys very close quarter racing back in the middle of the pack. You can see them start to spread out just a little bit now as Andy Allen puts some space between he and Jason Black. Lots of racing continuing here at Irwindale Speedway. They call it LA's Half Mile Super Speedway. A spin out by Jim Pubbin in the Dodge Dakota. Look at the top of your screen, ladies and gentlemen. See all of that smoke? Let's go on board with Catlin, who tapped him right now. Take a look. He'll tap him. Right there he goes in front of you. Got into that rear quarter panel and spun him out. Catlin on board the replay there. Now we take a look on board with Putnam. Who goes 360 degrees? More ASA Speed Truck Challenge coming up. During the early stages of this race, Darren Young has just checked out. He's driving like a man on a mission after his misfortune last Saturday night at Orange Show Speedway when he tangled with his uh, teammate, Bear Resident Wiki. Darren, the United Nissan team, those guys are on a roll. I think they've got something to prove tonight. Darren's looking to gain back some of those points that he lost last weekend at Orange Show when Victor Fluger padded his points lead for the championship battle. Thanks, Steve. We're set for the restart here. Lap number 19 of 50, Darren Young on the restart. Andy Allen right behind him. Jason Black, Bear, Reznowicki in the number three ride, and Austin Murphy, they're all out at the front. Here's a battle for first, though. They were grouped up after that uh, caution flag, and so Darren Young is getting a little bit of competition right there. Yep, Andy Allen going low, and it's see if Allen can take away the top spot. Boy, on that restart, they really had to put a lot of pressure on the two-speed direct transmission with TVT 24-7 gear lube on board. A battle for six, Victor Pfluger trying to keep that spot alive. Well, meanwhile, let's take a look right now at that battle for third place. Bumper to bumper they go. It's Bear Rizna Whiskey and Jason Black. Battle for 19th, way back in the pack. Putnam, who uh, looks like a little rough on the ride, but he's going to have to come back and try to get back towards the front. A long way to do it. As you look out the uh, rear deck lid of his ride, you can see the pressure right there being put on Darren Young by Andy Allen. He's right there behind him. Here's the way it stacks up after 21 laps are completed. Good battle for Jason Black and Bear Resnicki in that third position as well. 
Now, as we watch some of the action, too, we'll remind you that like all oval racing, there are spotters. That is people talking to the driver or the crew chief, many times as family members, including the wife. Take a look at the battle for 13th right here, and now we're going to go on board with Todd McLaughlin with his in-car. His wife, Lisa, is a spotter. Um, it's good because we have really good communication because we're really close, and it's bad if I make a bad call and i got to go home with them at night. <laughs> like it is, Lisa. Yeah, that's exactly right. you got to keep whispering on a driver's ear, keep him focused on what he needs to do. And this is a tough racetrack right here. The battle for first start to heat up now as we're on board with Andy Allen. Who, of course, is chasing right now. Darren Young, you can see the difference right there. Allen right on his tail dock. Yes, he is. Young had the points lead up until a week ago, and he would love to hold on to it. Victor Fluger has it right now. We're on board with Victor. We talked to him earlier just haven't quite got out far enough yet for me to be comfortable. Uh, I'm not going to be comfortable until last checkered flag falls down the air. He's a good young man, an awful lot of poise. That battle for seventh continues to rage there. On the inside is Paul Bonacorsi. And Austin Murphy. Boy, the two S10s really doing battle. We go on board with Murphy right now. A very talented rookie, the 07 Austin Murphy. Boy, Bonacorsi will take the spot away. Murphy's got to go back to the inside. These guys are going door to door here in Irwindale. Great racing in Irwindale, California on the ASA Speed Truck Challenge presented by TVT 24-7. Let's get back on board with Murphy. Murphy to the inside and to the outside there. Paul Bonacorsi. Bonacorsi, the Bonacorsi Racing Chevrolet S10. Well, you saw Murphy try to make a move on Bonacorsi and pass on the inside. Now about a truck length advantage right there. Let's see if Murphy can dive down inside and get him. Now as they go into the straightaway, there's the way they stand after 27 laps. Darren Young still in the lead, but seriously being challenged. Boy, and Murphy and Bonacorsi continue their battle. Right up on the tailgate, look to the outside. Now he's gonna drop back to the inside. Boy, look at that youngster Murphy go way down low on the track. He got him this time, Doc, as he dives down inside. Looks like he's got in front up on a Corsi. Door handle and door handle. Look at Murphy trying to protect the low groove right down to the white line, coming up to the outside. And Paul Bonacorsi continues to have it. Ah, but now let's go on board with Dallas Kolodny, who's mixed everything up the 44 truck, diving down inside, actually acting as a blocker for Bonacorsi without meaning to do it. But Austin Murphy cannot get around him now. Ah, we got a spin out. Here comes the yellow flag on lap number 30. That's the number 33, Ray Hoffman out of Fullerton, California, and the Goodwin Construction, RJ Allen, Chevrolet S10. Stay tuned. Is brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts, home of the professional parts people. By E3 Spark Plugs, Diamond Fire Technology, Energy, Efficiency, Ecology. And by NRG Resources, Advancing Alternative Energy. Welcome back to the ASA Speed Truck Challenge, presented by TVT 24-7. Doc Riley, Ted Jones along with you. We're 40 laps into our 50-lap feature here, and a good battle for six right now with Victor Fluger. We should point out, though, that Darren Young is still in the lead right now, even though we're showing you the battle for sixth place. That's very important. He has led this entire race. Yes, he has, and he is a two-time champion in the ASA Speed Truck Challenge, and he would like to make it another championship here. That seventh-place battle with Fluger continues to be very, very hotly contested, and the laps are starting to wind down for these guys. You've got to start making your move here on this tight half-mile speedway. Well, Fluger is in a battle with Randall King, the Chevrolet Colorado, trying to advance all the way up to second place. You can see him side by side. Remember, this track has two grooves in it, folks, and you can see that clearly now as they come down the straightaway side by side. The ASA, boy, they really build champions. The youngsters in there mixing it up with the Wiley veterans as well. We'll remind you, this is a driver's race. These trucks are all identical. They have sealed Gordon Racing V8 engines are running Torco Race Fuel. They run 110 octane, a two-speed direct drive transmission with TVT 24-7 transmission and gear lube in the case. Speedway Engineering, quick change rear end. Hoosier Racing tires on all four corners. Yes, they are. And of course, as we learned earlier, Mr. Gasket's Mallory Excel Ignition System specifically designed for this racing here. So it really is all about the drivers. 50 laps. 
nice tight racing here. Young guys and older guys, the ASA Speed Truck Challenge in its 12th year, crowning champions, having fun racing all over the West Coast in California, Arizona, and Nevada. As we continue to ride on board right now with Fluger, take a look from outside, still side by side. Great racing that they have. The battle for seventh place, though, is heated up indeed. It is. Points are on the line here. 13 race series. This is race number nine here at Irwindale. And we'll point out, they do have two road races. You saw them two weeks ago right here on the Outdoor Channel. The rest of it are oval track races just like this one today here at Irwindale. And we've said uh, racers as young as 14 and as old as 43. Racers coming from karting, legends, midgets, late models. And who knows, one of these days they may make it up to the Cup Tour. Well, here's a shot from Andy Allen's truck as he tries to chase down Darren Young, who now is starting to open that lead up again like he had in the first few laps of the race. They haven't had a question for quite a while now, and you're beginning to be able to see the effect of it as Darren Young is beginning to lap the field now. Here he comes. Yep, he puts Mike K in the 88. K Motorsports Dakota lap down this lap 49. The white flag is out here at Irwindale, and Darren Young continues to pace the field. The oldest driver in the field, 43 years old. You can tell the experience of the veteran is paying off. He has K behind him now, which can act as interference. I don't think that Andy Allen has a chance. He needs to just take it easy, stay in second place. Second place money isn't bad. It's better than last place, and that's what could happen if you spin out, Doc. The checkered flag will fall to Darren Young. It will take the victory. Andy Allen second. Look at the rookie, Bear Reznowicki, Jason Black, and Victor Fluger all pacing and picking up those valuable points on the ASA Speed Truck Challenge. Austin Murphy in eighth place, followed by Paul Bonacorsi, then Todd McLaughlin, Colin Dickinson, Tim Allen, Brandon Arcirio, and Jim Putnam. A pretty good effort there for Michael K as he comes back out. Sean Steele with a good effort and a tough break this weekend for Jeff Callen. Let's go to Victory Lane and Steve Guccione. What happened tonight, man? Uh, we were on rails, that's for sure. We just kind of hit the setup pretty good tonight. So obviously United Nissan guys did their homework before this race, and I have a little bit of experience here, so I capitalized on that as well too. So uh, it was awesome. Next week on Motor Mania, the Speed Truck Challenge. We'll go to the Bull Ring in Las Vegas. For Ted Jones and Steve Goodshetty, I'm Doc Riley. Thanks for watching.